We moved to the mountains near Montreux. We lived a quaint and enjoyable life in the village there, in a small brown wooden house in the pine trees on the side of the mountain. Catherine thought about things like having the baby be too big for her narrow pelvis, so she drank to keep it small. And she also thought about marrying me to not only make the child legitimate, but also so that she could one day become an American and be in the Grand Canyon. I thought about deeper things like war and murder and my friends who have died in the war. Catherine didn't really like this. She thought that we needed change. Honey. Hmm? You should grow a beard. It would be exciting. If that's what you want. It's what I want. Okay. Grow it. Okay, okay. Right now? Grow it right now. Get out. Right now. <sighs> oh, yeah, that's nice. That's a nice beard, dude. <laughs> Are you happy, sweetie? Yeah. Yeah, it's exciting. Um, do you want to play chess? I'd rather play with you. Let's just play chess. <laughs> After we will play? Mm-hmm. All right. Do you want to go to bed instead? Okay. All right. Are you awake, sweetheart? I am now. Mm. You can't sleep? No. Oh, um, why? Do you remember when we first met? How crazy we were for each other? Oh, yes, just... So crazy, but you know I'm just grand for you now. I love the way you say grand. Oh, good. Grand. Mm -hmm. Go on to sleep. Let's sleep at the exact same moment. If that's what you want. One, two, two three. But we did not. I was awake for quite a long time thinking about things and watching Catherine sleeping, the moonlight on her face. By mid-January, I had a beard and winter had settled into bright cold days and hard cold nights. I liked living in Switzerland. It was a fine country. Every time we went out, it was fun. At the same time, we talked about how we wanted to make sure that the little brat would never come between us. Catherine continued to admire my beard. You know, darling, after Catherine's born, I might cut some of my hair off. Oh, that's great. I think right now I look a little too matronly to be mm, to be cutting it off, a little too big, you know? Mm. But after, um, when I'm thin again, mm, I'm going to cut it off and be a brand new girl for you. Would you like that? I, I think it'd be, it'd be so exciting. Mm. Well, you're so sweet. I want you to fall in love with me all over again. I love you enough now. I mean, what do you, what do you want to do? Ruin me? Yes, I want to ruin you. Good. That's what I want too. I want to ruin you! <laughs> Months passed and by then it was March. The weather had started to soften and the air felt like spring, but always the clear, hard cold had come again and the winter had returned. Me and Catherine went out and walked along wherever we could. We dreamed about what we would do when the baby came. We went and walked and moved towards the hospital just in case the moment came. And then it did. I think I've had a contraction. Sweetie, just keep breathing. Don't touch me. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't touch me. Oh. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh my god. I, I just want you to rest. Oh, oh my god. god. Don't touch oh. me. Oh my god. It's okay, just keep breathing through the contraction. It's gonna be okay. I know it's gonna, it's gonna be, be okay. okay. I know. I know. You're such a strong, independent woman. I know, Catherine. I know. You're so. Stop touching I'm me. I'm sorry. I just. Oh my god. It's okay. Stop oh, touching oh. me. Nurse! Oh, yeah, yo, huh? 
Honey, where are you? You should try this. Yeah. Oh. Come on, Mrs. Barkley. You gotta push. 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 Miss Sparkly, I don't think this is working. I think we need to do some C-section. It's coming! It's coming! It's coming! It's coming! It's coming! Ah! I'm sleeping. Hi, how are you? I'm so beautiful. Oh, he's so long and wide and dark. You did so good. I saw them sewing up the giant in session. It's going, it's going to be okay. Oh, he just, he looks a little bit like a shriveled up rabbit. Oh. But, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a kid. Wow. It's not a I love children. I think, you know what? I, I, I think I need to get another meal. Um, you, you did so great, sweetie. You did so great. Just, uh, keep breathing in the air. All right, nurse, uh, nurse. I ran into the nurse in the hallway. He told me the baby was already dead when it was born. So that was it. The baby was dead. But why they acted the way they did in the room with him? The I had no religion, but I knew he ought to be baptized. What if he had never breathed at all? He hadn't. He had never been alive. Poor little kid. I wish to hell I'd been choked like that. No, I didn't. Now Catherine would die. That's what you did. You died. You didn't know what it was about. You never had time to learn. You just died. Mr. Henry, something's gone terribly wrong. With what? Mrs. Is... Henry has had a hemorrhage. Is this really bad? It's very bad. Oh no, Sh should we go now? Yeah, let's go, oh, let's go. No. Oh Lord Jesus, please don't let my wife die. Please God, please, I wish I love her so much. God, God, please don't let her die. Serves him right. Escape the war? No, you can't escape this tragedy. Oh, Catherine. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Uh, are you sure? You're not gonna die. Don't worry. You're not um, gonna die. I know I won't die. die. I'm so brave. Uh, I just. Uh, it's gonna be okay. <sighs> yeah, I know. I know. I told you. I know. It's gonna be okay. I already know that. Just I'm so brave. Just on the, on the off chance you, you do die, is there anything you're gonna be worried about? I, about I want me? you. Will you love me? Don't, don't be with other girls. Uh, never. I'll never be with other girls. But I want you to have other girls. Oh, um, then, then okay. If, if that's what you want. Uh, okay, uh, just, it's okay, sweetie. You're not gonna die. Yeah, I know. I'm so brave. <laughs> I'm so brave for this. <laughs> I know. God, yes. I know. Sweetie? Sweetie? Hello? God, why? After a while, I went out and left the hospital and walked back to the hotel in the rain.